the daughter of a peasant, uh, small scale coffee farmer. My father died at age 100 years, and I hope I can reach that that age, Mr. Speaker. Chairman, to this committee, uh, I was born in a, a village called Muruka. I went to primary school just next door my home, which was a kilometer away, Karumu Primary School, with other boys and girls in the village. I walked to school. I came back to school, went without lunch, when there was no lunch, and I finished my primary school there. And I joined Siakago Girls for my O-levels. We did O-levels, Form 1 to Form 4. I finished in 1974 and then joined... A, a, I finished in 1977 and joined A-levels for two years, Bishop Gatimo Girls. It is from where there are Gadu Girls that I was called to Nairobi University as a law student. And I did my three years. After three years at Nairobi University, I graduated with a Bachelor of Law's degree, and then I joined law school for one year at Tudor Jackson. And thereafter, I my first job was a state counsel at the office of the Attorney General, where I practiced for about two years. I left and joined Makecha and Company, the late Makecha and Company. From there, Mr. Chairman, I set up AM Wahomen Company Advocates. After finishing, I think I did work for until, up and until 2000 and, I think 2014, when I was joined by my daughter, who is a lawyer, as a partner, and I, th I believe she's in this room, so that we formed Wahome and Akendi, where if I am taken, approved by this committee, I'll be resigning. I have held my practicing certificate from 1985 to date. It's still varied for practice, but I'm aware, acutely aware, that if I'm approved, I will not be able to practice. It is in, um, I would like to say something about my young age. I have worked like any other village girl. I have milked. I know how to milk. I know how to cut grass. I have cooked for my brothers, as was expected, even though some of them were older than me. I didn't understand why, but I know I did those jobs. We, I have followed my mother to the garden, to the shamba, up and down, and she was one of my driving um, forces or factors because she was a hard worker. My father uh, had, was a polygamous uh, man. We are 48 siblings in my home, and... Uh, <laughs> Very hard working man. <laughs> something I don't wish uh, uh, most men or many men to do, but uh, and especially with the current economic times, uh, I know that uh, it is uh, really a, a situation that uh, I looked forward to actually making an improvement in my life. I, in, in terms of my upbringing, I could say within the village, I was one of the few privileged uh, girls because my mother was very keen to ensure that I go to school. My father educated all of us through his coffee farm, about nine acres of coffee. I was determined from that age to make a difference as a girl. I looked forward to leaving the village and joining other working uh, people. And I, as I sit here, looking forward for approval, and I, I hope that I will be approved. I would want to encourage other girls from the village, going to school even without shoes today, maybe no water in their homes, no running to tap, no food sometimes, but that there is a hope and there is a future and they can be able to work and reach 